So today, since we've had uh, two new additions to the petting zoo, we're going to add another hay rack that we're going to put on the outside of the barn. Uh, something we've been mean, meaning to do for quite a while. So today we're going to build one and uh, install it. So I'm going to show you how to build one. Very simple, nothing fancy. All right. So this is pretty much what we're going to be making. This is an old one that's seen better days. So it's pretty much, this is all made out of scrap wood as well. So you've basically got two sides, a front, a bottom, and then there's usually a back rail here, which I use to attach to the, wherever we're putting it. So this is what we're pretty much making. So. What I've ripped up here are just some wooden battens and they're gonna lay out something like that so the sheep and the goats and alpacas can put their mouths through here and feed off the hay. So we'll put these off to the side for now <coughs> and then what I'm gonna do now is make the side walls for it. So I've got some old rough sawn lumber here. We're basically using all scrap wood or reclaim wood that we've been used before or just lying around. I'm gonna make it fairly wide. Well, I'll make it as wide as this. And then at the bottom, I'm probably gonna make it as wide as what this is. Yep, three and three quarters, because I've already got it. Let's make it 28. We're gonna make it 28 inches by the 11 and three quarters by three and three eighths. And we'll use this as a template. So now what we're going to decide is how wide we want to make it. What's going to determine that is how many of these I have and how far apart I want to put them. So I want to put them far enough apart where they can still get in there and get the hay, but I don't want to put them too far apart where they'll pull too much hay out and waste it. So this is where you've got to kind of figure out the right width. I'm going to say I probably want to make it a four inch gap in between. The alpacas have got quite a large muzzle and so are the sheep. So I think four, in, four inch gap in between would work out pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these off to the side. I'm gonna get a scrap piece of this, which I have right here. Eight of these, and I've got this board here, which is gonna be our baseboard. So what I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna do, lay my tape measure out like that. I'm gonna do four inches. Mark that. This is easy maths. Make it nice and easy. Then I'm going to go from 12 to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's that one. Okay, so. This is our baseboard, which goes down the bottom. This is our backboard that goes along the back. And then this board will go along the front, and then these spindles will sit like that from there to there. So now, what I have to do is transfer these measurements that I have here onto this board. Okay, so that's that one there. So they're all cut and marked. So I'm going to put these off to the side. And then now I've got to decide how long these have to be. So I'll take this and I will measure from there to there, which I believe was 20, oh the back was 28. So these are going to be 29 and a quarter.
Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pre-drill this. There's one. That is the front of the rack built. Now, what we're going to do is build the sides. So I'm just putting this board on the inside just to stiffen the ends up a little bit. So this is, this wood here is hemlock and hemlock has a tendency of splitting um, like it just did. I'm putting a brace on the back so I can attach it to the wall. Okay, so that's the rack built. So let me hold it up so you can see what's what. So, it's going to sit flat like that against the wall. So you've got your side panels on either end. You've got your spindles in the middle. You've got a nailer at the top and a nailer at the bottom or, or a screw board to attach to the wall. So uh, the only thing left to do, besides putting it up, is I'm just going to shoot a sample of the pressure and just take any... Uh, the edge off the edge of that. 